Hi, it's Kevin from Kevin's Classroom. Let's have a look how to change a recurring decimal into a fraction, shall we? Let's start off with this guy over here, and we say, right, um, let's take 0, 0,43, and they put the dot on the 3. I always like to write it out as 0, 0,4333, just to give me a few to use, and from there I say, right, now, the next thing I like to do is I say, let x be equal to 0, 0,43333. 3, 3. Now I note where, my, where, where my, um, my recurring is, and I'm going to move it, and I'm going to say, right, let 10x, for example, therefore, 10x is going to be equal to, multiply it by 10, 4,3333, 3, 3, isn't it? And therefore, 100x is going to be equal to, 43.33333, and it keeps going. What am I actually doing? Why am I doing this? Because what I want to do is I actually want to get it to this point over here where everything behind the decimal is recurring. Why? Because then I'm going to subtract the two, and I say, okay, subtract. I'm going to do it reverse, if you like. So I'm going to say 100 minus 10 is going to be equal to 90x, must be equal to... 43 minus that is going to be equal to 39. Therefore, my next step, the final step, is going to be, therefore, x is going to be equal to 39 over 90. And we always simplify, divide by 3, it becomes 13 over 30. Simple, that's the way we do a recurring decimal. Any of them, we try and put it into another one. What about this one? Let's take 0 0.45. 0 0.45. Now they've said the 4 and the 5 is recurring. So what do I want to do? I write it out first. 0 0.454545 like that. Now I actually am going to multiply it this time by 100. So let me say let x be equal to 0 0.454545. Therefore 100x is going to be, can you see it's going to be 45.454545. What have I done again? I have actually got everything behind the decimal as the recurring one. Now if I subtract them, what do I get? I get 90x is going to be equal to 45. Therefore, x, or rather, sorry, 99x, my bad, 99x. 99, because that's a 1 over there, right? 99x is going to be 45, therefore x is going to be equal to 45 over 99. And we can simplify that to give us 5 over 11. Divide by 3. There you go. Simple. And we're going to do loads and loads of these. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Cheers.